Hey guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University, and The Punisher, issue number 11. Badass book. <laughs> it's like my, my opening way of uh, describing this comic book every week, man. It's a badass book, dude. This is Frank Castle and the War in Begalia, part 6. This seems like it's going to wrap up the uh, current storyline. Um, writer, artist, and colorist. In order, Matthew Rosenberg, Simon Kodransky, and Antonio Fabella. Letterer and color artist, uh, cover artist, VCs Corey Petit and Greg Smallwood. Anthony Gambino does the uh, design. This is an awesome book, dude. Holy crap. Okay, so Punisher shooting up some mother fat heads up in the street, shooting them all down, man. They line them up, he shoots them down. Uh, Billy Russo is there also, Jigsaw, and uh, he's, he's <laughs> the very last ditch effort that Baron Zemo has to keep the uh the country in order to keep some control over it is it gets in people investing in the idea that there could be a whole lot of criminal activity and money laundering and stuff like that right here in Bagalia. So there's some people just like, yeah, 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 I'm tired of your dreams, Mr. Baron Charmer. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Tired of all these fancy pipe dreams you got. We need something evident to show up, you know, if we're, if we're, you know, as ambassadors for us to go back to our countries and bring something to our leaders. We're going to need something a whole lot better than what you got. And um, Jigsaw gets on the phone. He's like, listen, Punisher's coming after us. We're going to come there so that all your guys can shoot and kill him. It's like, don't you come here. Don't you even think about coming here. What are you thinking about? And he's like, dude, we got to come there because we're going to die. He flips out. <laughs> He straight flips out on these people, and what happens next is exactly what it looks like. Dude, I want to show you this full page spread, and it's not even standard. Like, it's like, check this out. It's not even standard. You got to actually flip it. You know what I'm saying? Here's the book. In order to, oh, I should probably be like this. <laughs> My bad. Um, yeah, look at this. Oh my god. So essentially Bagali Bagali is all but gone at this point, man. Um the country's still gonna exist. It's gonna have to deal with some fallout, and it's gonna have to deal with uh no leadership. So there's a hell of a power vacuum there. So they could just wipe it off the map in the sense that it's gonna be a while before they clear the radiation, or they could do something else with it, whatever they want to do, but it is now in more disarray than uh, Madripoor is at the current moment. Wow, holy crap, I can't believe he actually did that. That is nuts. We also lose somebody in this one. We have a, a character death, and it's really sad. I didn't expect this character to make it through the uh, story arc, but now that the character is actually dead, I, I was actually a little bit sad. And there was a great scene. Oh, man, such a great... Look, I just got to say this, man. Um, Kodransky, on this issue, if you like the art in the previous issues, it was nothing compared to this issue. This issue, man, like, you get the, the great double spreads of, like, you know, it looks like it's two separate panels. It's actually the same panel, just different views of, the, uh, of, of what's going on at that exact moment. You could read either one, first or second, doesn't matter. Um, and it's beautiful. But, like, there's a scene where this character dies. Oh, wow. Wow. Like, it is moving. Simon Kudransky really went a step above in this one with his art. Just straight up. Um, once again, I can't wait to see where this goes. And we do know where it's going to go. It's going to go back to New York. Because the Punisher's got to go up against uh, Wilson Fisk. Dude. <laughs> I love this comic book. I love this comic book, and it's exactly where it needs to be. I don't need 40 different covers for this comic book. I don't need two different covers for this comic book. I just need the comic book to come out. I need Marvel to just back off and just let Mr. Rosenberg do what he's doing, because this is good reading. And can can Mr. Kudransky stay too, please? <laughs> Go get this comic book, guys. Don't, you know what? Next, at the very, no, you need to just get this comic book. Don't worry if you don't know where the story is coming from or, or how it went. The art on this alone is beautiful. But if you've been reading the art, you'll know this is a good issue. And at the very least, next issue should be a good starting point. All right, guys. Professor Bill, Comic Book University. Class dismissed.